is tut. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut. Today we're taking a look at how to create a clipping mask from several shapes. Now, as many of you probably already know, um, within Illustrator you can do something called a clipping mask, which basically means um, you can select a shape, okay, and you can select the layer underneath it, and you can make it so that the layer underneath only shows where there is content on the layer above. For example, I have this number of shapes here, and I have the lines underneath it. If I were to select both, right click and make clipping mask, it would clip all of those lines out and only make them visible within these areas. However, if you were to try this with a bunch of separate shapes, you wouldn't actually get the result that you intended. If I show you over here, for example, with a few red squares, let me take two of these red squares, okay, and I'll just make a third one underneath and we'll just make that black or a different color for now, okay? If we try to make a clipping mask with these, so basically we should get... Um, content only showing in this sort of rectangle section and in this rectangle section here. If I try to right click and make a clipping mask of those, it actually only chooses one of the shapes. It still makes the other one invisible, but the overlap only works on one of those. You get a different result if you group these together as well and make a clipping mask, okay? They just sort of disappear, it doesn't really know what to do. The way to get around this and to achieve the result that I've done here in this um, example is you have to turn your shapes into a compound path. And what that means is, um, it basically, while keeping the shapes individual and not merging them or joining them in any way, it treats all of those individual shapes as a single element. OK, so if we were to take this shape and this shape on the top here and go up to object, compound path, make, what you'd get in your um, layer palette down here is those two shapes with the word compound next to them. Now, this works in the same way as a group. You can double click inside and you can start editing these individually, okay, and changing around what they look like and things like that. And when you drop out, it still acts in exactly the same way as a group. However, if you had to create a clipping mask now, it would work correctly because it sees that shape on top as a single shape. And that's all that I've done here in this example, okay? If I release this clipping mask, you can see that these individual shapes I've made, okay, whilst acting as a single shape entity, just like a group does on top on the surface, I can still go in and I can edit these individually, sort of rounding them off, doing whatever you want to them. But the uh, clipping mask sees them as a single shape, meaning that when I select both of these through, I can turn this into a clipping mask again. Really quick one for you today, guys. I found this out um, whilst trying to figure out this design, so I thought I'd share it with you. Hopefully you'll find it useful in the future for something. Who knows? Hopefully you do. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, let me know, and uh, I'll see you all next time on Tips Up. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.